This video, Cool Cats and Cool Girls, is sponsored by Hustlers University, where we teach you how to hustle. We teach you how to start your first side business, where we teach you how to start a business that will make you $1,500 to $5,000 on top of your job in the next three to five months. So this is what I got for you. You will go here to H undergrad. All links are below and you can do a thousand dollars to get in one time payment, or you can do 30 payments of $50, or you can do 15 payments of $99 because what this curriculum will do is teach you how to hustle. It will teach you how to do resale. It will teach you so many things because what is cool about this is it's just not a course. It is, we, we provide you with a pathway. And what is that? And the first comment is the schematic of the things that you have to do. And right now, there's literally five months of training and instruction in Hustlers University to get you started. So once you start diving in, you're going to be working for the next five months. And you're going to do some of the courses concurrently. And you're going to build your first side business. So go ahead, act on this opportunity. The price isn't going to change so you can get in, get your money together so you can start to level up. Once again, the link is below in the first comment and hopefully you will be part of the Hustlers Kung Fu family. Also, coming soon, everyone that signs up for Hustlers Kung Fu and Essentially, what we have here is B School for Hustlers is the grad school. This is like getting your MBA. This is like the MBA, the corporate papers. And if you go ahead and sign up for Hustlers Kung Fu and you want the corporate papers, whatever you pay for Hustlers Kung Fu University, we will take that off so and give you a discount code so you can get into the corporate papers when you're ready. I know many of you don't really care how you make money, and I understand that now. So I'm going to teach you how to do resale. I'm going to teach you how to do Craigslist. I'm going to teach you how to do service businesses and all of this stuff. Once again, that first link under the video is where you can access all of this juicy training. So let's go ahead and get into this video. What's going on, guys? Today is a good day. The sun is rising. Macking is going down on that. Um, since she's pretty easy to find on social media, I'm not posting her picture. I may post out a picture with some of her stuff blacked out so some people can't do an image search because that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Jordan Peterson is right. Most of America is stupid. Most of America. I had someone leave this comment uh, on my video, Hustlers, hey guys, for anyone who's unaware, Hustlers Kung Fu is a paleophile. And we have a lot of people who are using this word, throwing it around, and they are fundamentally ignorant. They're fundamentally ignorant and they're throwing it around. And also, this, post, this person has no social awareness. When you come into my comment section, it is usually the majority of the comments are going to be left by my supporters. So you're coming into a hostile territory. And I was listening to Jordan Peterson and he was talking about success and CEOs and people getting to a certain level. And I kind of figured some stuff out. Most of these clowns, let me go ahead and put it low class, low intellect, low accomplishment, low achieving clowns who are leaving these comments are the primary people who are going to get globally reset. They're the main ones. And you want to know why? Right now, we have an interesting situation that's going on in America. Right now, it is a struggle for small businesses, car wash, restaurants, um, warehouses, all these places to get labor because these people 
don't want to work. Now, let's go back in time when I was part of the workforce. Back in the day, you would never quit your job before you had another job. You wouldn't do it. Yet right now, we have a bunch of people who are quitting their jobs without another job. And this is a result of the stimulus economy. For almost two years, you didn't have to pay your mortgage. You didn't have to pay your rent. You didn't have to pay for your car. You didn't have to pay your credit cards. And the government was throwing in a little stimulus money, right? And one of the things that happened with this is it created a situation where the functionally dumb feel like they're winning. I don't have to go to work. I don't have to pay my rent. I don't have to pay anything and I can get a little money so I can go get me some hookers and blow. See the functionally stupid. And this is, these are primarily the people. Like uh, there's some YouTubers who took the situation and used it because they can make some money, which is kind of smart. And then there was a group of people like uh, someone left this comment that you're becoming popular with this group in Texas. I'm like, once again, let's talk about the legal system. I have been in court about 26 times through the business issues and some personal stuff from my divorce. And you know what I used to do? I used to go to the Fulton County Court, sit in there and watch cases to learn the lay of the land. Not a lot of people were there watching cases, learning how a judge would conduct himself. Most folks, until they do something or encounter the legal system, have no clue how the legal system works. And I. There are several YouTubers who have said, Lyndon Cameron is going to jail. He's gonna be in jail for a long, long time. And these are the functionally stupid. Even the lead attorney with his bitch ass said, he ain't going to jail. And once again, because America is stupid, this is why wrestling is so big this is why entertainment is so big. Uh, the dude that wears the robe, he's an entertainer. He's not an educator, he's an entertainer because America is stupid. And going back to Jordan Peterson, I, I really like the guy. Jordan was talking about some of the things that you have to, you know, he was talking about classifications. If you don't know, there's 10 to 15% of America, of the world, literally of the world, based upon IQ that cannot do certain jobs. They can be our janitors, they can be our servers, they can do many menial tasks, they can be the groundskeepers. That's about it. That's all that they have the mental capacity to do. And for you to be a CEO or a high powered attorney, to be a surgeon, you're gonna need an IQ of 150 or greater. And he was talking about the great benefit of going to Harvard. The great benefit of going to Harvard wasn't um, graduating Harvard, it was being accepted because Harvard has such a rigorous vetting process that once you get in, and I want you to think, I want you to think, you have this huge pool of really, really smart people cluster together. This is one of the reasons that Silicon Valley, this is one of the reasons New York, you have so many smart people concentrated. Like my building, like I routinely can drive in my building, park my car and get on the elevator and come up the stairs and not run into anyone. You wanna know why? Because these people are busy. Once again, unlike the functionally stupid and dumb who are like uh, Jordan, he said something, and I, I greatly agree with it, because I have a video on here talking about hookers and blow. If you give a 
low intellect person, a lot of money, they're going to trick off. They're going to do drugs. They're going to do um, self-indulgent things. They're not going to do very smart things with the money because they are dumb. And once again, there are many of the folks who are leaving these comments. They're stupid. They're actually dumb. And one of the things that has happened to me, you know, since the Craigslist protocols, I cannot date a dumb chick. If she's stupid or basic or have a low IQ, I am not interested. I can't do it. I just simply can't do it. And there was this one girl who is beautiful, but she's dumb. She is so dumb and I just can't do it. Nice, big old titties, big old round titties and everything. But she, you know, we, we just can't have like a conversation. She's dumb. She's just dumb. And this is why a large segment of America is going to be reset. The reset is coming. The reset is on and popping because well, let's talk about the court system. Like all of these YouTubers and TikTokers who are saying he's going to be in jail for a long, long time. See, there is no penalty for being wrong on social media. There's no penalty for being wrong. Like with me in the business world, there is a penalty for being wrong. It's like you lose money. That's a big penalty. So one of the things that the functionally stupid, the functionally dumb, the perpetually inadequate, and many of these folks are very inadequate, is they don't understand, because I have a video on Savage Money that talks about this, increasing your service, they don't understand the things they have to do. Because like I said, in this building, most of the people are busy. That's why they live here. This place ain't cheap. And they live here because they're busy and productive and they're creating value. But the functionally stupid, they don't see it like that. They see it as, yo man, the elites are keeping us down, man. The elites, they don't want us to be rich like them. Let me go ahead and explain something to you, Lucy. There is no one keeping you down. There is no one preventing you from being successful except the man or woman in the mirror. That's who's keeping you down. You are keeping yourself down because you're stupid and you're unaware that you're stupid. That, like, every morning, like, it's calm way down, but every, when it was really rolling, I would see all these, you're going to jail, you're going to jail. And I really wanted to say, hey, provide me a logical argument based upon the legal system as you know it, why I'm going to jail. Because, you know, it, it's gotten funny because like several, like a, several YouTubers, several TikTokers, he's going to jail for a long time. And see, once again, there's about context, okay? First of all, let's talk about Cosby. Cosby did this for 30, 40 years. Cosby went on record, was disposed and said he provided quaaludes for women. This is on a legal record. That's why one of the reasons that Cosby went down. Plus, I think Cosby, R. Kelly, they were about to do something big and someone had it out for them and they unleashed the hounds on them because this R. Kelly thing, this isn't the first time he's been, they've been after him. This has been an ongoing thing. It has been seriously ongoing. And one of the things that gets me with stupid people is they are like this girl, she's beautiful. She's, she doesn't, she, bless her, she doesn't realize she's stupid. She, she has no clue that she's stupid. Shut up, shut up, Alexa. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even say her name. She started talking. But the perpetually stupid. And here's something for you guys. Like, if you're stupid, I'm about to give you some things that you need to do. If you're one of the stupid people who are leaving comments on this channel, 
First of all, you need to reduce your social media consumption. You need to pick up a book. Believe it or not, if you're stupid, there is a way for you to raise your IQ. I know that is mind blowing. There's a technique, it's called Baroque music and studying. You can push your IQ five to 10 points. And five to 10 points, if you're on that borderline, can be huge, can be huge. Because one of the things that I look at while I have been successful is I've never had my IQ tested, but I would assume my IQ based upon taking tests. Like when I was in the elementary school, there was something called the California Achievement Test. Blew it out the water. I made 1550 on the SAT. So I would estimate my IQ to be 160, 165. So that is one of the reasons, like when all of this stuff jumped off with the Predator video and everything, what did I do? Did I panic? No, I just sat down and I went to work. Went to work. Because I know that whenever the world is being torn asunder, I can always go back to my work. I can always dig in my work and it'll be okay. I have that track record. I have that awareness and my social intelligence is very high. My cognitive intelligence is very high. And once again, I'm a, I'm a pretty smart cookie uh, in the, uh, I've written books. I've created course. I teach classes. So it is evident because here's the thing with all of this firestorm that's going on, because uh, the rope, you know, it, apparently there's some stuff that's coming out about the robe wearing dude that he's a fake millionaire. I don't have time to dig into that, but let me just say, I saw some inconsistencies with the things he said, and I wouldn't be shocked if that's the case. I wouldn't be shocked at all. So one, and this is another reason, take the fake millionaire, the robe, people like entertainment, people like a good show, the lead attorney with his little horn and all this other stuff. See, when you're stupid, you have to be entertained because there's no way else, there's no way else for it to get in. You, when you're stupid and you're dumb, you cannot sit down in a quiet room and read a book. You can't do it. You can't do it. And one of the things that I am consistently seeing with the perpetually stupid, the perpetually dumb, and also, the comments are starting to change because now a lot of people's like, y'all keep saying he going to jail. When is he going to jail? No response. See, this is another thing. People are looking for validation. And then when you're internally whole, like, I don't really give a damn if you guys like me or don't. You know, I appreciate the support from the people who are on Team Glendon. I really appreciate it but I don't live my life wanting to be liked. I want to be respected. That's the first criteria. I want to be respected and that's how I operate. So when you're internally whole, cause like a few years ago, there was a snowstorm in Atlanta, right? Many, many years ago. And people were locked down for a week and people were freaking out. I was perfectly fine because I can operate in an environment without a lot of human interaction quite well. And this is something else. This, this is wow. Um, one of the things about this building is I'm getting way more human interaction than I got in my house, like times a thousand. Cause you know, I had my neighbors over here. I would go talk to my neighbors. We visit, we have dinner and stuff like that. But here, it's a totally different thing. I'm getting my Mac on, I'm um, meeting new people, and I love the energy of this building. So that's going to result in more things for you guys who are not perpetually stupid. Because see, 
This is one of the things, and I've seen it over the last 12 years. I've been on YouTube 12 years. The perpetually stupid, the dumb, and shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. A great example. O'Shea, and I've been watching O'Shea for a long time. O'Shea has tried to have intelligent, intellectual conversations with the black community. It didn't work. And when he came up with the celebrity junk, it went crazy. Because O'Shea, who's a smart guy, he realizes that the bigger market is the stupid market. Entertainment, celebrity gossip, sports. Uh, once again, Kevin Samuels. Uh, I don't have no problem with Kevin Samuels, but I don't need Kevin Samuels services in my life. I don't need them at all. Uh, but if you're part of the mass of mass of low intellect, low um, vibration individuals, you, you, you're going to eat that stuff up with a big spoon because you, when you're stupid, and I, I'm, I'm using, I'm, I'm keep saying stupid, dumb, you cannot apply yourself with educational rigor to anything. Like this is one of the things. Uh, there was this video by Lewis, Lewis Howes, and it was talking about how to pre-sell products, right? I, and the video was an hour long, and I had to watch that video 10 times. And I would watch it, took notes, watch it, took notes, tried to do it, didn't work out. And I was like, okay, let's do it again. And it took me like five or seven times to get it. The average stupid American can't do that. They cannot do it. Their attention spans are too short. This is one of the reasons that I rarely consume TikTok. I don't do TikTok. I don't do a lot of social media consumption because it rewires your brain and it makes you dumber. So if you're already dumb and then you keep consuming TikTok and doing it, you're just going to get dumber and dumber. You will find it hard for you to concentrate on anything. So once again, for my corporate citizens, you know, we're getting ready to do a lot of different training. We're getting ready to get off into a lot of different stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting my training because once again, the corporate papers, to me, it's simple. But upon talking to students, it's too much. So I got to tamp it down a little bit and I got to work with you guys where you are and then bring you up. And this, this is, cause see, this is education. Education is not me talking over your head and using a bunch of words that you don't understand. That is not teaching you nothing. What I have to do is figure out where you are, adjust the training to where you are to level you up. That's good teaching. That's a good education. But once again, so many people in America are just butt naked, dumb, just stupid. Because I am like, if you can see it in the comments, like I'm actually telling these dummies about my, about themselves because here's something else too. Yes. The vigor, the video was bad. It, it created, I designed it that way. Right. Low class people are coming to the channel to leave negative remarks. Now, I want you to understand this low class people. Once again, the video, video triggered a lot of people. There was a bunch of smart, intelligent, high class people who saw it and they didn't like it. Those people are not coming to my YouTube channel to insult me. See the low class, the stupid people who were not raised properly. And this is a reflection of single mama nation. This is a reflection of not having fathers. This is a reflection of not having manners. We're getting all kinds of people who are coming to my channel to leave. And the thing is, they're not just coming and leaving one comment. They're hanging around to consistently drop these stupid 
inept, impotent, inaccurate, and you know, grammatically incorrect comments. Because one of the things, and once again, because these people are stupid and they're socially unaware, they're coming into my house and they're wondering like, why do you support these guys? It's like, and I've seen so like, wait a minute, let me get this straight. We're gonna support a predator and we're gonna support a pedophile. Once again, in that video, there was nothing to suggest that I was a predator. How did that get started? The robe wearing dude, that's how he triggered it because he's, I think he's jealous of me, honestly, because the more this thing unrolls and develops, I'm just sitting there like, mm -hmm. and that's how that got started. And then the pedio pedophile, I have no attraction to children, none whatsoever. That's technically a pedophile. But because these people juiced up these platforms, because it, it's funny, I'm probably going to do um, a fake millionaire on this dude because there's people who are putting up videos and they're not going anywhere. And I'm going to start giving these guys a little help because just like the fake robe doing, robe wearing dude, because I, I feel he's jealous, honestly I do, because uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm authentic. I am real. I provide receipts, you know. Um, I'm probably going to help those guys a little bit because, uh, you know, people have sent me some stuff and the videos are not getting a lot of views because people are not going over there because they like the show that he puts on in his little robe. But we're going to shine a little light on that because one of the things that I've come to understand about stupid America is if you are aware of your situation and you're working on your situation, you can do quite well in America, even though you don't have the high IQ. This is conscious, conscientious trait. This is hard work a work ethic. There's many things that can mitigate, you know, cause I've got friends, I got a friend who's extremely successful, but he's not particularly bright, but he's incredibly hardworking. And he, you know, he, he's very, very hardworking. And this is one of the things like, see my video, hookers and blow, the average American who will win a million dollars to $5 million in the lottery will be broke in five years because they're stupid. Now, what does this mean for all my folks who are not stupid? There is so much opportunity. There is so much opportunity out there for you guys. There is so many things you can do because it's the pimp game. Like right now, I have so many folks who are unhappy with me. Let's just put it that way. Then I got another group of folks who have redoubled, tripled their support of me. So I'm going to focus on the folks over here. And these folks, they can kiss my ass because at the end of the day, regardless of what you do, some people are going to like you. Some people are not going to like you. I've had something like this happen before, and I ain't even put up that video. I ain't even put up that video. So the perpetually stupid, the perpetually dumb, because your money is in your activity and where you spend your time is where your money. I spend my time on businesses. That's why I have money. It ain't no magical secret. Like I work hard, I build businesses, I make money. You got people out there who are sitting at home. Like right now, I got to go get some cars today because I got people who have my cars who are not working. And that's why they're late, because they're not working. And I got to take my cars away from these folks who are not working and put them in the hands of people who are working so I can also um, develop myself and develop my business and do the things I need to do to continue to level up. Because, guys, I am telling you, this has this social experiment which is still going on. Like, even though YouTube removed the video, 
the experiment's still going on. Because one of the things I wanted to know was like, how long was this going to stay very high? And once again, I enjoyed it when it was high because the Lost Kings was getting crazy traffic. Then YouTube took the video down. And once again, traffic disappeared. And it start, it's pretty much, I expected it to die down by the end of October. And that's what it's trending toward. Because every time I put up a video, there's less dislikes and hates because once again, stupid people can't focus. How long can you continue to hate and put stuff? I mean, there ain't no money in it. How they ain't going to keep doing it. They're just going to stop and they're going to move on. And then one day I'm going to look down and it'll be back to normal. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is there's so much opportunity here in America for people who are willing to work, who are willing to put in the time, put in the hours, because most of your contemporaries are not that bright. And that is not what kills them. That's not what kills them. You're, they're not that bright. They don't have a work ethic. They don't have conscientious trait. They're just out here living like, I've noticed something. <laughs> I've noticed something really interesting in my office complex. I have been in an office complex. This is my second time. First time I had Magnetic Media in there. First time I was in an office complex, there were not as many black entrepreneurs. Now there's a lot of black entrepreneurs and black folks are very sociable because there's a bunch of, there, there's a group of guys and they're always at the front and they're always having conversations and they're kind of hanging out. So from a culture thing, the black folks like to hang out. And I, I just noticed that cause it's like, that didn't happen the first time I was here. This is real interesting. I think one guy, he sells cars, another guy, he, he imports stuff to e um, Ethiopia, I believe, because he's Ethiopian. And another guy is an African attorney. It's very, very interesting. But hey, guys, that's all I got. Once again, the um, links to everything are below. So you can go ahead and jump on that. So I will see you in the next one. And let's go out and be productive. Let's go out and make some money. Let's go out and build some businesses.